Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I will show you step by step and how to install the Permito camera wires into your vehicle. Now that we got the rear view mirror installed, what we gotta do is install the front camera. Now you can install it on the right side or the left side, but I'm gonna install it right in the middle. I'm gonna install it right there. Just remember to take off any protected coverings. All right, I took off the cover of the adhesive and now what I'm gonna do is this is the mount. This is going to go on the window. So I'm going to position the camera forward. And I'm just going to center it to the rear view mount. But I'm going to center the lens, not the mount. I'm going to push up on there. Here's a close up of how it looks, but I want you to notice how the lens is centered with the rear view mount. There it is, and you can see how it's centered. Next, what we gotta do now is get the power cable that we got, that we installed. And I'm gonna get the power that's coming from the dash cam, and I'm gonna put these together. And if you're not sure how they go, just twist, and eventually they'll go in together by themselves. And that's how that went. And you can see how it's turning on because we already installed the hard wire in there. Next, I'm going to install the front camera. This is the power cable that's coming from there. And this is from the power cable from the hard wire. And they're both orange. And again, all I'm going to do is just twist it and it'll go right in there. So the only one left is the rear camera. Got the rear camera right here. This is coming from the power cable, the rear camera. Again, just twist and it goes right in. So now we have all these cables and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them under the headliner. So I'm gonna start with the main cable itself and I'm just gonna go straight up and I'm gonna tuck it underneath the headliner. Next, I have the front camera. I'm gonna go straight up with this wire here. That way it could be together. And again, just push it in there. Push it in there. And any slack I have, I'm just gonna fold it and put it in there like there. And I'll show you just a minute how it's gonna look when you put the wires in there. So this is the way it looks when the wires are underneath. You got a one eighth to a quarter of an inch space in there. And you're simply just getting the wires and just tucking them in there with your hand. That's pretty much all you're doing. So let me continue. Next, I'm gonna continue with the power cable. I'm gonna fold it like this. That way I could put the slack in. The dash cam came with this cord keeper. And we're gonna go ahead and install that next. We're gonna put those wires inside here. Now this part right here, this part right here goes into that section right there and it creates a seal. So I opened it up, there's two pieces. So I have the wires inside like this. So now I'm gonna do is put the other cover on there. The way you put this on is you just slide it in like that and it'll slide in there. All right, next, you kind of got to work with it because the wires are stiff. So you're gonna have to maneuver it a little bit. I installed the cord keeper and you can see how it's going from the rear view mirror mount to the headliner. And from this angle, you really don't see any cords. You just got the cord keeper. All I got left is the rear camera cable. And we're gonna do it the same way we did the power cable. We're just simply gonna push this one out. We're gonna pinch it in there, move some of the slack back out. And with your finger, we're just gonna roll it in there. You can see how I push that back out again. I'm gonna push the wire back out. Push it with my finger in. Push 
push this out again and just push that in there. Let's get that slack inside there. Okay, the wire's in there. Now we could continue, but this time we're gonna go up where last time we were coming from the bottom up. Next, I'm gonna continue routing the wire by pulling down on the weather strip again. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it between the frame and the headliner. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch in the wire on this side. That way it could hold the wire for me. My right here, just pull it up a little bit more and it's inside. So next I'm gonna put in the weather strip. Okay, all that's done. Now I'm gonna work in the, the rear window. Next, we're gonna run the wire from the B pillar to the C pillar. But if this video has been helpful for you so far, please give me that thumbs up. Can you appreciate that for you? And it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the weather strip again. I'm gonna pull it to about halfway down. Then I'm gonna get the wire again. And between the C pillar and the back panel, there's a slit right here. And I'm gonna pinch the wire in there. Again, this is to hold it. And that's where I pinched it in. I'm gonna continue routing the wire inside the B pillar. Then I'm gonna put it inside the frame and the headliner between there. And push it down a little bit more to get it in. And the wire's in there. That's how it looks. So I've got the cord and I'm gonna do is just simply push it between the seat and the frame. I'm just gonna simply push that up and you can see how there's space and just push the cord in there as much as I can, making sure that it's going to the back and not going up or down. All right, I think that's about it. Now, if your seat folds down, I've got a video in the description on how to route the wire inside the vehicle with your seat down. My seat doesn't fold down, so I've got to use this. Okay, this red wire here coming out, actually this wire too is the wire, so I could just simply pull it out, pull everything in. All right, I'm at the end. All I have to do next is just simply put the weather strip back. So what I gotta do next is run the wire to this trunk lid area here. I'm gonna go on top. So what I did is I loosened all this carpet. If you're not sure how to do it, there's little upholstery clips that you could take off and it'll loosen everything in there. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this out and just put it right on top and work my way to the top, to this area right here. Now I could just push this all back together and I could put the clips back, but I'm not gonna do that yet until I'm completely done. Push the wire up here, I'm at the trunk area. The next thing I did is I removed all this carpeted area off. If you're not sure how to remove the carpet area, just go on YouTube and how to remove the carpet from your trunk. And I'll give you step by step on how to do it. So I need to route the wire from inside the trunk to this area here where the rear camera is going to be. So to go from inside the trunk to the top lid, I'm going to use this outlet here. This is the wire harness secure areas. So I took these out and that's where I'm gonna run the wire. So from under the carpet, I'm simply just gonna push it out in here. And that's how I got the wire. Then I could go inside this outlet. Now, there's three ways to do this. You could go inside here from one area to the next. 
This is a little bit harder. You might have to use some WD-40, but there's a way to do that. And I'll put a link in the description down below on how to do that. Or you could put the wire here and black tape it all to the wire harness, or you could zip tie it. Those are three ways you could do it. I'm going to zip tie because I do a lot of dash cams installation, so I know I'm going to remove this eventually. So I'm simply going to route the wire to continue it from the top. You can see the wire here that I pulled it in there. So I could either keep going straight, which I am, and the wire is right here. So I'm now ready to connect it to the rear camera, but let's go ahead and install that first. So I have my backup camera and I'm going to put the rear camera on the left side of the backup camera. I'm going to put a little bit back. That way when I'm backing up, I'm away from this camera, but I could use both. And the way you route your wires inside is you use the license plate light to go inside. Most of the time there's a clip on the inside that you unclip and the, the light goes back and you push the wire in there. My car is a little bit more difficult. Just like the seats didn't go down, there's no outlet to go from the outside to the inside. So I had to drill a hole. Then I got to pretty much take this part out. But your car might be different. Hopefully it is for this Maxima. I got to do three screws and, and take this out. Now with this rear camera, you could use a mount to mount it on and you could adjust it. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna go straight to the frame because even with the DAS cam, you could adjust it from the software there. So I got it here and I'm gonna mount it straight on there as best as I can. I think right there is good. And I'm simply just gonna push in, push it in. Now again, for this vehicle, I gotta take this part out. Okay, I got it out there. Chuck got it out. Push the wire in. Now for this vehicle, I want you to see how the whole thing has to come out. And you can see how I drilled holes. You shouldn't have to do that at all. It should just, this comes out and you push that right back in there. All right, I'm gonna continue with that. I'm gonna put this back on. Now I'm going to tighten this up and we'll work on the inside. So next I got my wires. I'm going to continue routing it to this side over here. Then I'm going to get both wires and I'm simply just going to push them in together and twist and they should go in. I'm going to pull the wire a little bit more out so it could be flushed. All right, there you go. So what I'm going to do is push in the red wire a little bit more. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna push the black wire in a little bit more from the inside. Now I could go ahead and secure it to this wire harness. I'm gonna zip tie this together rather than black taping it or put it inside because again, I do a lot of dash cams installations and I know I'm gonna take this apart. So what I did is, so I don't have to go inside. I made a slit right here and this slit, I'm able to put the wires in there and I could cover this back up. And I'm gonna close it. Okay, that part's done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tight before I put the bottom piece in. I'm gonna push the wires to the back. There it goes. I'm gonna push the wires in now from the inside. I'm gonna put one more zip tie at the end just to make sure it holds everything together. When I open the trunk, op open and close it. I'm gonna close it because I made another slit in the bottom as well. And that slit really holds the wires in. All that's done, I'm gonna cut these tabs off next. Not gonna work my way inside the trunk, but remember, this is your preference of what you wanna do. So before we start up the vehicle, I want to install the anti-glare sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the large cover off of it first. 
what I'm gonna try to do is put this on at the same time I'm taking this off. So let's see, I'm trying to center it in there. I'm gonna pull this slit out more and I'm going crooked. So let's do that again. I'm not very good at this, let's keep I think I got it, yep, I got it in there. Now there's bubbles, which is fine because there's an outside piece that I gotta take off, which is this one here. And just work with it to get all those bubbles out. And in fact, I'm gonna probably need to realign this just to make sure I get all the bubbles out. Try to get these bubbles out. All right, I'm gonna try this again to pull it back out a little bit. And slowly with my thumb or my fingers, just push it back in there. Try to get those bubbles out or minimize them. Well, it came on because we have the hard wire kit installed. All right, it's on. But now let's really start it up here, okay? Let's start the vehicle up. Excuse the sound of my car. There it goes, you hear it? The dash cam come on. Now let's put our car in reverse to test the backup camera function. And we're looking to see the gray lights come up. All right, cars reverse, the gray lines are up. So that means the red wire is connected and the gray lines are shown. To adjust them up, you wanna to swipe to the right. There you go, you can see that. And when you're at the end, if you want to adjust them back down, swipe to the left. And there you go, and that's how you do it. That's the grid lines. And you can see the rear camera is on. Now we slide our finger to the right, you get a side by side, or you get the front camera. Now remember to adjust it, all you gotta do is move your finger to adjust the dash cam or the, the, the view that you want. Now let's go back to the back. Again, we could do the same thing and get what we want. And if you want a darkness or brightness, just touch the screen and you see that, that brightness come up here. Move it to the left to darken it, to the right to get it bright. To get into your settings, hit that uh, gear icon and you're able to get into all the settings and change whatever you need there. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and select all notifications because I got another video of how to set all the settings, how to play back videos, and also have a review of this dash cam. If this video was helpful for you, please like this video. And if you're interested in this product, I'll put links in the description down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.